Hi, this is Dahi TV Korean Class 101. Enjoy watching and learning Korean with me. Para sa aking mga new viewers and subscribers, ako nga pala si Dahi TV gumagawa ng mga iba't ibang videos like Cebuano Bible Reading Audio, Mix Korean, English, Tagalog, Cebuano videos. May ginagawa din akong charity sa Pilipinas, kaya in-upload ko din. Kasi natutuwa akong makita yung mga kababayan ko na nakatanggap ng kahit punting tulong man lang. At naisipan ko din gumawa ng EPS 2 Pick Lesson Videos para sa karagdagang kaalaman sa mga kababayan ko na gustong magtrabaho dito sa South Korea. Lesson 7 na po tayo sa EPS 2 Pick. So sa mga di pa nakapanood ng Lesson 1, mas okay kung umpisahan nyo ang Lesson 1 video. So, umpisa na po tayo. Okay, so ngayon guys, sasagutan natin yung problem um, from number 56 to 60. Okay, so yung direction is ganun pa rin. Daang kurimulbugo manandano na munjangal kurusib show. So, it means look at the picture below and choose the correct word or sentence. Word in Korean is dano. Or is na or ina. So, but na or ina. Kasi pag na, ang sinundan na is vowel. Pag consonant, nilagyan ng i. Kaya naging ina. Okay? So, it's the same. It's or. And then, sentence in Korean is mundang. Okay? So, let's start with the guys. Number 56. So, ito ay isang unan. So, ano ba yung Unan, unlan in um, Korean. So, let's see number one. Ang nakalagay dito is ibul imnida. So, ibul imnida. Ibul in Korean is habul, guys. Blanket. Okay. I'm, ako ay nagsasalita ng Cebuano, guys. Tagalog, English, and Korean. So, mix yung salita ko. So, hope it's okay sa inyo, ha? So, hope it's okay sa inyo. Okay, so, ibul imida. It means blanket. It's a blanket. Okay, so, pag um, translate ito sa English, it means it's a blanket. So, blanket in Korean is ibul. Okay? So, number two is bege imida. Bege. Bege means telo, unan, unlan. So, the answer is number two. So, remember this word, bege imnida. Bege means what? Telo. Okay, so unan. So, how about number three? Chimde imnida. Chimde. Chimde means ama, bed. Okay, so it's a bed. No. Number four is paji imnida. Paji is pants. Okay, so pants yung paji. So it's a pants. So it's not the answer. So the answer for number 56 guys is number two, which is bege imnida. Okay, so let's go to number 57. So as you can see in the picture, ito ay isa. Copy machine, right? So, copy machine or photocopier. So, what is that in Korean? Number one is buksagi. Buksagi imnida. So, it's a, ito yung sagot agad, guys. It's a photocopier. Photocopier in Korean is buksagi. So, buksa, it means copy. Okay, buksa. So, buksagi is photocopier. Buksagi imnida. So, ang sagot natin agad sa number 57 is number 1. So, let's try to look choice number 2. Nakalagay dito is kesangi imnida. Kesangi, it means calculator. Okay? So, naalala niyo pa ba itong word na to? So, kesangi it means calculator. It's a calculator. No. Number three is sonpungi. 
Sanfungi imnida. Sanfungi means electric fan. Okay, so it's not the answer. And number four is Tongsogi. Tongsogi imnida. So Tongso. Tongso, yung, it means bumaglinis, ganun, linis, clean. So, tongsogi hamyon, pag sinabing tongsogi, it means vacuum cleaner. Okay, so vacuum cleaner, tongsogi, sonpungi is electric fan, kesangi is calculator, buksagi is photocopier. So the answer for number 57 is number one, which is buksagi. Okay, next, let's go to number 58. So number 58, as you can see here, my envelope, siya, no? envelope and then my cellophane, yan, mga paper bags. Ito, in general, anong tawag nila? Okay, so what is that in Korean? So ang sagot, guys, is Number, alam niyo po ba yung sagot? So, ang sagot dito is number one. So, uh, let's start from number four. Okay? So, number four na kalagay is jigap imnida. Jigap. Jigap, it means wallet. Okay? Jigap imnida. It's a wallet. It's not. Number three is sangja imnida. Sangja means box. Okay, sangda means box, so it's not. It's a box, no? Number two is upyo imnida. Upyo, it means stamp. Okay, it's a stamp, no? So number one nakalagay is bongtu imnida. Bongtu, envelope. Okay, so kahit ganito lang siya, may nakalagay din na paper bag, paper bag, tapos cellophane, mga ganyan. In general, ang tawag nito is bungtu. Kumbaga, yung isang bagay pwedeng ilagay sa mga nandito, picture na ito. So, bungtu, imnida. So, that's our answer for number 58. Next, 59. Ito ay isang suklay. In Tibano is sudlay. In English is kom, right? So, Let's check our answer. So, ang sagot na naman dito, guys, is number one. Okay, so, umpisa tayo sa number four. Ang nakalagay is moja imnida. So, naalala niyo po ba? Moja, it means sombrero. Hat, cap. Okay, so, moja imnida, it's a hat. No. Number two is goal imnida. Goal, it means mirror. Okay, goal. So, it's a mirror. Goal imnida? No. Number two is shin imnida. Shin means God. Okay? God is shin. So, it's God. No. Right? Okay. So, shin imnida. Number one is the answer. So, ano yung suklay in um, Korean? So, nakalagay dito is Biop, i, tapos shiot. So kung um, babasahin mo siya, bis. Bis. It's not bis, guys. Okay, remember? Kasi maraming mga nagtuturo na uh, yung pronunciation is sinusunod nila yung kasi s ya, So ang nagiging pronunciation nila is bis. Pero hindi yan bis, guys. Remember, ang supply in Korean is bit. Kumbaga, nagiging E sound siya or D, beat. Okay? Pero lagyan mo ng imnida, it's a comb. Beat imnida. So, doon ang, ang sound niya nagiging S kasi i-connect mo siya dito sa E. So, nagiging beat imnida. So, from the word beat. Pag sabihin mo na, oh, supply, beat. Okay? Pag sinabing it's a comb, beat imnida. Okay? So, bit. Bit is supply. Okay, so that's our answer for number 59. And let's go to the last number, which is number 60. So, ano nakalagay dito sa picture? So, ito ay isang mansanas. Apple. So, ano yung apple sa 
Korean. So let's check. Oh, bakit yung mga sagot is number one? Okay, so let's see number four, guys. Number four first. So nakalagay dito is subak. Subak imida. It's a watermelon. Subak in Korean is watermelon. So it's a watermelon. Melon. Next, it's not. Number three is pudu imida. Pudu, it means grapes. Okay? So it's a grapes. No. Number two is talgi imida. Talgi means strawberry. Okay? And number one is sagwa imida. Sagwa is apple. So may ibang meaning din yung sagwa, guys. It means apology. Halimbawa, nagkasala ka sa isang tao, so sabihin mo, sabi ng isang tao, yan, mag-apologize ka sa isang tao, so sagwahe, kuroke malheo. <laughs> ano ba yun? So, ganun yung sasabihin niya. Sagwa. I mean, uh, I apologize. So, sagwa halkiyo. Like that. Okay, so sagwa here, pag protas ang pinag-usapan, we're, we're referring to a fruit, so apple in Korean is sagwa. Okay, so that's our answer for number 60. Sagwa imida, it's an apple. Okay, so see you on my next video, guys. So abangan niyo po yung EPS topic lesson 8 natin. So by the way, starting next month, June 2022, first and third Saturday of the month, at 10 a.m. Philippine time, mag-upload po ako ng Korean lesson video. Until here, guys. See you again next time. Taong chika nito man tayo. Annyeong! Hi, it's Dahi TV here. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos. Until next time!